Our mission, to take Jebediah Kerman to every landable planet, moon, and the Kerbal solar system, using the same central living module throughout the whole mission, with no return to Kerbin until the mission is completed. In the famous words of Jebediah, aim towards the moon, and even if you miss, you land with the stars. Of course, then you would die within a few seconds with your lungs rupturing and your blood boiling, but it'd be one hell of a show. The first thing we are going to launch is the core, which holds Jebediah throughout the entire trip. And so we're going to go ahead and circularize our orbit. And next we are going to launch our transfer stage, which uses the very efficient nuclear engines. So for long burns and transfer burns, we are going to be using this. Now we're going to go ahead and dock the core to the transfer and attach the uh, core underneath the transfer stage. And so we go ahead and do that after it wobbles for a second. Next we are going to launch the landing stage and this is going to be attached to the core when we descend to the surface of a planet and we're going to dock the landing to the rest. And so now we are going to need to do some space housekeeping. We're going to get rid of this extra engine and get it out of the way. Next thing we're going to be do is uh, attach the landing engine to the rest of the core. We're going to do this at two times speed. It took a, quite a while, longer than I thought it would, so go ahead and fix that. And now what we need to do is go ahead and make our transfer and burn to the MUN, which takes a very, very long time due to these nuclear engines not putting out very much power. So we go ahead and do that. And next is our braking burn. We are going to leave the transfer stage in orbit while we descend with the rest of the ship. So go ahead and get into a even orbit and now we're going to undock our lander. So go ahead and undock and RCS away. And so next we are going to do our deorbit burn to go ahead and get down. We're just going to use one of the uh, central poodle engines. It has decent efficiency. It's like something around 300, 320 ISP in a vacuum. So go ahead and do our braking burn, put down our gear. And so this landing was not very good, but I assure you the Minmus landing was much, much better, probably because of its lower gravity. But we get down, and the connections between two docking ports tend not to be very strong. They wobble a lot. And here I realize I put the core upside down, but I don't bother to uh, fix this for Minmus. So now we're going to go ahead and burn back up into orbit around the Mun and decouple our little side... Um, fuel tanks which we no longer need because we're going to attach a new landing pod after we get back into orbit so we're going to redock with the transfer stage and what we need now is some more fuel since we burned a good amount of it uh, landing and returning to orbit so we're going to go ahead and dock with the rest of the ship refuel and now we're going to burn to get out of the mun's orbit and so we complete that, and now we return the refueler to Kerbin orbit and re-enter the atmosphere. So our next target is going to be Minmus. So our first step is, of course, aligning our inclination. So we go ahead and do that. And now we're going to do our transfer burn, and we get into a encounter with Minmus. We're going to do our braking burn and get into orbit around Minmus. And so we go ahead and complete that into a lower orbit. And now we are going to decouple our old lander, which no longer has the landing legs. And we're going to dock our new lander, which I skipped the launching of. Next, we are going to undock our lander and prepare for descent to the minima surface, which is actually easier. Some people uh, should actually go to... Minmus first before the month since it's easier to land on. So we do our breaking burn, we start heading towards the ground. And this landing, as I said earlier, is much, much better. So we go ahead and get down, and I can do much smaller burns, so you need less fuel. So go ahead and get down to the surface. And now it's time to complete the episode as we go EVA flying down to the surface of Minmus.